Okay, so I'm running for Dagger Admin, and the reason I wanted to run is, well, we can't just have the same person going every time just because they can. I want there at least to be a competition. And there's a many things I want to do. I want to get us going to more events, because that's my, my own group. Okay, I want to be going to more events, get everybody going, become better. Like, we want them to become more versed with outside this university. Dagger here is a game of friendship and fellowship, not just in the university, but outside. I also want to get more people to come to this university. And my thing, I have an event where I can draw on people from a bunch of different, uh, a couple of the states around us, many different realms or chapters in Dagger here. I am good friends with people in, uh, by, um, by uh, Chicago and by uh, South Bend, and as well as in Indianapolis. The, the group in Indianapolis, which is hosting an event tomorrow, which is why I wasn't here today, because I was working on clothes for that, has 200 people normally for every event. They said they'd give me their full support. So that means I'd have people to help running it, have advice, and be able to get, draw on a huge pool of people to come to an event, which would people would see that here and be like, oh, this is a bunch of couple dorks playing around beating each other up. This is a whole war. That's what, everybody, that's what everybody thinks it is. A lot of people just think it's dorks playing with stor foam swords and sticks. But it's really, it's just another kind of fake combat. Like martial arts is a, a way of recreational fake combat as well. You can use it for actual real combat, but a lot of people just want to do it because they want to fulfill some need in a movie they saw. And a lot of movies nowadays don't just fight with their fists, they have swords. So pretty much opening up to questions, that's all I really have to say. You say you want to draw on people from other schools, but shouldn't your focus be on people here on campus first? I want, it is for the people that are on campus. It's to give them, like, I learned how, I'm not the world's best fighter, but I'm more well-rounded because I've been to Ragnarok, I've been to Pennsylvania, Ohio, everywhere. And I've seen a bunch of different people, and a lot of people from here don't want to leave their comfort zone. So bring people from outside their comfort zone in to help get them more well-rounded. It's like, it's the reason we have an invitational. We do that so we can, not just to make money, is so we can build friendships with people outside of our area. Plus they might find somebody who has a Dagger Here Realm where they live at home so they can play over the summer. Next. I know you have one eventually. You said you were gonna question the crap out of me. Oh yeah, let me think of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you do to bring new players into the game? Uh, new players in the game. I'm going to have different advertisements like uh, during welcome week. I want to have, I know I will not be able to get one at the scramble light because I'll be taken. But somewhere have a, couple, a team of people handing out flyers, maybe dressed in guard, fighting each other. Handing out flyers. Like we should even do that for all of our games. Because welcome week is the biggest time where everybody's really permeable to things. As well as my event, I'm going to advertise that. And just maybe sometimes have different locations where we fight just every once in a while just so that a different part of campus can see us. And also have Saturday practices, which a lot of people want to do that. Nate had his hand up first. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> what sets you apart from Cole? Um, I, it's not. I don't want to be set apart from him, and like that I'm better than him. But I'm just. He has his own skills. If he's known the people here a lot longer, I just know more of how Dagger here works as a whole outside. Um, I have connections with. I'm in a unit that's based in Pennsylvania, but also has people here. So I can draw on them for support and advice from all across country. I have friends from all over the country who can give us advice. I know how to build weapons. I know how to make garb. Um, I like from scratch and stuff. I go to Goodwill, buy fabric, and make it. So I can help with all that. I can help with shields. I can help with everything that you need to do for Dagger Creek. Even running an event, I've helped with that. So that's what I'm bringing to the table. Yeah. You keep mentioning garb. Is that something you're going to enforce? No, I'm not going to enforce it. If it's just something that I want. It's something that I know if people would go to an event, I've asked people before if they want to go to an event, they're like, well, I don't know how to make clothes, I don't know what to wear. I can help with that. I'll take people to Goodwill, say, hey, you can just wear that and that. And then when they want to get better garments, like, hey, buy these bed sheets and we'll do this with it. Did I answer your question? No. Build dates. Are they going to happen? How yes. are you going to fund them? They're going to happen, and I'm going to try and make it so, like, it'll be an, it'll be an event itself, but not, like, but just for people here. And they'll tell me what they want to make, and then I'll help them make it. Nice. But I'll give them a few options to choose from. A few. <laughs> oh, yeah. What other ways of advertising? You said flyers and welcome week. Um, like, are you meaning like welcome week as in just cables when people are coming in? Or are you talking about helping them move in or what? I don't think we have enough people to help them move in. That'd be a great idea for when we get enough of player base. Maybe as HBZ as a whole coordinator. Maybe HBC as a whole, we could do that. 
UGL, not just HVC. I, I think of the. I don't run the HVC crap. Well, the website <laughs> tag is slash HVC. That's but, another problem. Yeah, UGL is a pull can do that, but for me it's just getting the word out, maybe through Facebook and emailing more aggressive Facebook stuff, because everybody's on Facebook. Maybe I can do a Ball State secret admirer of, Dagger here, I love you for this. <laughs> All right, I think it was her, her, him. Have you had your hand up? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> her, him, her. What will you do to ensure safety to the players? Um, I've, the only, the major part that I've had in helping running other events is I've always been on weapons check. That's what I do at these events. Because in middle March, every person helps with weapons check, which is my home yeah, run in So I can help with weapons check, make sure everything is safe. Plus I'm going to have three different positions and equipment admin who can help with all that, making sure all the equipment's safe, operable. Then there's a, uh, I forget the name for it, but he's pretty much like a, a secretary. Paul makes, keeps track of like the money and then the rules. And then a third person is pretty much just like an understudy for me because I'll I might be in the army, so some days I can't be there, or I might have bands, so they will have to help with that with, until I get there. With, with your, uh, I read your platform on attendance. Uh, are we electing you to be admin to be there to to help new players get adjusted, or are we are we electing you to elect someone to run it? You're electing me to help new people get adjusted. The only part I won't be there for is. If it one Saturday a month for I had to go and play army, and then um, well, it's the easiest way to say it, I have to go to uh, I think it's West Side Indy and then do that, and then on Wednesday practices if we keep that up or whatever weekday practices, I won't be there for like the first hour or so, just like reader camp and marching band stuff as long as I make the drum line. But other than that, I will be there for the last half of practice and for all the Saturday practices, unless there's a game. But when there's games, most people don't go to practice anyway. So you're electing me, it's just I also will have other responsibilities. But in the spring, there'll be a lot less. You say, um, like, you want, wait, what was it? <laughs> Somebody else, and then I'll read my question. Uh, playing off of Drake's, if you were to get elected, would, would you just move it to times that you can actually attend the entire practice? No, that's not going to be how I'm going to run it. It's not It's not about when I can get there, which is a big part of it, but it's when all the players can get there. The players are more important to me because I will be able to get there for part of the time because I can move any of my daily obligations aside except for man, which ends at five, and most practices go past that. Um, would, you, would you be willing to have players, have interested people reevaluate when they're interested in case? What? Like, like, it, would you be asking the player base, hey, I plan on running it Wednesdays, but you guys have other times that it will work for all of you? I'll just probably have a poll saying, when do you want it? Exactly. Do that. And also, something I didn't mention, I will have open applications for the moderators. I have nobody in mind. I have people who know will be qualified, but I'm not even thinking about them because they might just not want to do it. Because I know people get burned out yeah, easily. Um, Earlier you mentioned kind of there was a stigma of nerds with sticks or whatever, and you talked about advertising, but do you have any aggressive ways to kind of break through that stigma? Because you uh, can advertise all you want, but if there's still that stigma attached, it's going to be a lot harder to get people. I could get maybe some uh, athletes from the student body, and it's really an athletic thing. Like, I don't know if you guys know this guy, Fish, he's 300 pounds. I've managed to somehow flip him on his back. <laughs> and like that's things you can do in DAG. You can take people and flip them carefully. That's another safety thing. If anybody wants to do grappling, I'm going to take them aside and actually give them a lesson on how not to kill somebody. Or maybe have Jake come in and do it because he's trained in judo. Jake, not Drake. I was looking at him because he lives. <laughs> One minute. One uh, minute. I saw another hand. So no mas preguntas. Oh. Um, I know Dago here has probably one of the most strictest rule sets out of out of the multiple yeah. variations. Uh, how do you plan to get the rules across to new players and older players alike for those older players that don't exactly know everything? Well, what it's going to be is I'm going to have, uh, on the website, I'm going to try and make a uh, TLDR version of the Dagger rules. Basically, the Dagger for idiots. Or dummies. <laughs> That's what it's called. Dummies. <laughs> Dagger for dummies. And have that way to be able to teach people stuff. Then also, each day, like whenever, I, if there's a new person, we'll have uh, my moderator who, either my moderator who's the, the understudy guy who knows a lot of the real stuff, or me, like as if I'm running a game, I have to either have him run the game or me run the game and talk to the person and teach them the rules and stuff before we send them out to the fray because 
not that Cole's done that, but sometimes people will slip through and just grab the weapon and win. We'll be watching that more. Okay. Time? Sweet. I gotta go back to sewing. I love everybody. Do you still do you still think I'm Sabo? No. Okay. You're a <laughs> <scoop>, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's moose.